morning guys and happy vlogmas day 16 i'm for sure and I'm, I'm sure that it's day 16 i know i've been messing things up because you know i've been kind of like making several videos at a time and then also vlogging for that particular day it's a whole mess anyway um it's early in the morning it's uh like 6 45 i've been up since six like tossing and turning watching videos about maui and stuff for my trip to discuss christmas um since it is christmas time so um first off i i have associates i have friends like that but the only friend the person i go to about everything the person who holds my heart is dalen um i do have another friend sarah i bring her up every now and then but she's a huge flake and i haven't seen her in like over a year she left me at the hospital when I had my heart surgery and I haven't seen her since and I still consider her a friend which is just ridiculous but Daylin holds my heart you guys have seen her she's a redhead um sorry I had to sneeze guys again so um I forgot what I was saying okay so yeah I can't do any like I can do something with her but I don't see her I see her once every couple of months maybe a little bit more maybe like once every month and a half so um, that's just not really possible. I may do one tonight. She will be here tonight. So, I also don't really have much of memories from my childhood, especially, like, specifically about Christmas. So, I can't really go on about memories. Now, yes, I can do ones up until I was 18, but they're not memories to, like, discuss. They're not, like, you know, like, the wow moment. They're just, oh, I woke up Christmas Day and we opened gifts, you know? And then your favorite Christmas gifts, since I haven't celebrated in so many years, I don't really have any. But when I woke up this morning, I was walking past a gift that I received. And it is um, precious to me. It's actually from my ex. And I think that I love it because it's a hookah. That because I really wanted it. And they, um, they you can buy it as one or you can like pick a part of it and say, I want this body, this neck, this, that. And that's what it was done when I received it. Um, and as much as I don't really use it any longer, I treasure it with all my heart. And I think it's because it's from the person who held my heart and still technically holds my heart. And so that is the gift that I do remember. And I only remembered because I walked by it today. Um, so I don't really, that's really much all like for at least those topics that this person commented. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, but... So we've been celebrating Christmas since the day we all the kids were born. And we're fa my family is not religious. Now, yes, Christmas is originally supposed to be about those who are... Now, please don't, like, tear me apart because I'm probably wrong about a lot of this. But you should get my point is that it's a Christian holiday about God and his birth, right? Yeah, because Easter is... Okay, yeah. So his birth, etc., but a lot of times family also just celebrate it because it's like a kids type holiday. There's presents and Santa and the whole thing. So I think that's more of why we did it. And my family, because we're just so not close, extended family, immediate family, the whole thing. Um, when we all turned 18, the gifts stopped. So you're like, when my, one, when my sister turned 18, she moved on and then... I think, you know, we would have holidays every so often, like celebrate Christmas and she'd come back home because we still had the two boys and me. Then the two boys got grown up, there was just me. And we did many Christmases with just me and my dad. But it's just him and I, and that was it. So, uh, I mean, the, the gifts were still as, they were less of them, but bigger, like bigger amounts of like value for money. But once I turned 18, even if I didn't move out, Christmas is done. We don't get Christmas trees. We don't decorate the house. There's no lights in the house. We don't do exchange of Christmas gifts. My family, immediate family, don't even really do contact. We'll do a text saying Merry Christmas, and that's as far as it goes. Now, if you have your own family, like my brother has a daughter now, I'm sure that he celebrates Christmas in his own way because she is two years old. My other brother has a 10-year-old. I'm sure that they do something, even though I don't see a tree in the house in photos or anything. So... They just might do some Christmas gifts and then, you know, so on. Um, my other sister, both of them have a Christmas tree up and etc. Um, 
But outside of that, that's as far as it goes. So like, I don't really have anything. Now, yes, if I'm dating somebody, I do exchange gifts, very much so. Um, but I haven't dated anybody since, for the most part, since my major, my major breakup, um, where I got the hookah. And so I just, I don't have a lot to discuss when it comes to Christmas. And if I could, I'd celebrate Christmas every year. I love Christmas. Now, yes, if you watch the video about my beliefs, I'm celebrating it for the wrong reasons because I do not believe in God um, and all the, the, the religious part of it. But I was raised with Christmas. So I love the Christmas trees. I love the decorating. I love the family and the music. I love wrapping gifts. I love opening gifts. I love receiving gifts. I love giving gifts. I love shopping um, and that is like something that I enjoy and you know I feel that just because I don't believe in what the holiday I guess the religious part is supposed to be about doesn't mean I can't celebrate it a lot of the world celebrates it and they don't technically believe in it or believe in every aspect of that religion and I'm a good person. I'm very giving. I, I mean, like I, like I mentioned when I'm dating somebody, when I mean, when we go all out, we go all out. I get thousands and thousands and thousands. I'm doing a lot of thousands here just to one person. And it was sometimes an issue because they go, okay, how much have you spent on me? Cause I don't want to like give you something that was like in total $300 and you spent a few thousand dollars on me. And I'm like, Eek, like I'm not expecting you to give me anything big because I am a giver. That's how I am. And when I see somebody on the side of the road, I'll give them my jacket if I'm in my own car because I'm in my car. I have tons of jackets at home and or I can afford it. Like, let me give you a jacket. You know, I've done that only once, but I have done it um, because typically they're men and I'm a small statured woman. That, so my clothes won't fit. I have a nonprofit. I give. Um... Just think, I mean, I was just at Panera Bread uh, about um, three weeks ago. I forgot to mention it. And you could, I was watching, I think it was grandma and her grandson. And he could tell he had a disability, like 100%. So I sent, I gave her my card and told her what I did and said, if you or whomever, his parents would like to contact me, I'd love to send him a care package. Just out of the kindness of my heart, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that Christmas is supposed to be about love and closeness and giving and just so much, you know, warmth. And and that's why I celebrate Christmas. If, well, I would celebrate Christmas if, if I had someone to celebrate with. So, you know, I got my little Christmas tree I got from, I think from the Dollar Tree. It's like a foot long. And I decorated it and stuff like that. But, you know... I just don't have anyone to really celebrate it with and um it's weird that i actually don't believe in god but my dad doesn't and that's fairly new i actually just found out this year and i'm like wait you don't listen to christian music all the time and it's because he likes it but he actually doesn't believe in my mom believes in something i don't know so like my family i don't we're all like very f similar when it comes to beliefs but it wasn't because we all grew up with that that belief like the understanding of like we don't believe in god because we all actually believe in some we all have our own weird beliefs i don't not weird but just our beliefs like whatever it may be i don't know my mom's like i know she believes in something i don't know and then my sister something again my brothers we don't really discuss anything so i don't really know but we're not a religious family by any means but i know that we both that we both we all like christmas we all love christmas my dad loves christmas but you know, we get to save money and we get to travel to Hawaii instead. And um, that's really it. So um, my friend Dalen is actually getting some gifts this year because she is staying here for two weeks to watch over the animals. And we, we, my father and I feel that she deserves to have some gifts to open while she's here as a gift for helping us out. And of course, um, some other stuff. <laughs> um, and the crazy thing is my dad's idea. So my dad really considers Dylan the family. She's been in my life for 17 years. <clears throat> but anyway, um, maybe the next, you know, two weeks, I'll figure out something that deals with Christmas that would kind of coin coincide with like the vlogmas. Um, but because of the situation and just how I've been 
growing up. It's just not really there in my life, unfortunately. But I hope you guys all have an amazing Christmas and Happy New Year. And you guys get the gifts that you want. And um, I only wish I could open up the gift. It's I love I love the feeling of just ripping up, up ripping up the gift and stuff. But um, not all of us have the money and the funds and the means to have a Christmas. None of us or not everyone is, you know, got a close family. You know, most family even when you grow up, you at least get like one gift from one family member. You don't you take their name out of the the box. But there's cousins and sisters and aunts and nephews, all in one family. We never even did that when I was young. There was always immediate family. So we're all very different comp compared to most because we're just not, our family are just not close, which is unfortunate. And, you know, I hope that that changes soon. And uh, with that, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. I will see you, of course, for the next two weeks or so. I guess less than two weeks. And, um... Yeah, I love Christmas and I try to celebrate it as much as I can. And uh, anyway, with that, I will see you guys soon. Bye.